Hi YouTube. Um, today I'm going to do a, another comparison video. So um, I quite like doing comparisons between clones and authentics um, just because actually that's something which I particularly look for when I'm buying mods. Um, I often buy a clone. Um, now there's going to be those of you who think that that's you know sacrilege, people don't like clones um, but I, I haven't got a problem per se with clones. Um, it's very much a case of personal choice and what you can afford and what you want to afford. But um, I like to try out a clone before I, I go with an authentic. And nine times out of ten, I have gone with an authentic after I've bought the clone. Um, I find it very useful for my decision making. You know, often it's a case of, you know, do I like the way that it works? Do I like the size of the device in my hand? All of these sorts of considerations which go into me, you know, buying an authentic, especially when you're talking, you know, several hundred pounds potentially in some cases. Um, so sometimes it is definitely worth having a crack at, you know, a clone before you go with it. Um, so today I am going to look at a mod or a, a mod which I've I reviewed and it's been on video quite a few times for me actually. Um, it's the Rogue. So I have taken the plunge. I've had two clone rogues so far and I've now got an authentic. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do a side by side comparison of the clone, which you guys have all seen me use, and the authentic, which you haven't. So there it's not the fairest comparison just purely because they're different um, different uh, metals so I've got the aluminium authentic and the copper clone but in terms of the um, in terms of the, the build and the, the way that they're put together I thought it'd be a fairly decent way of, of showing you the difference between the two let's uh, have a quick look that's a bit dry yeah there we go so without further ado let's dive down and have a look at them close up right bear with me right so hopefully I'm not going to rock the um, camera too much I have had the odd complaint that it's like being on a boat um, so I, 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 won't, uh, I won't rock it too much and hopefully we've got some focusing going on today um, but here you can see here is my authentic and here is the clone I'm going to dispense with the atomizers for the time being just because there's no point in putting them on because I haven't got an authentic rogue force um, so let's take the batteries out and disassemble the devices and show you the difference if if any to be honest between the two so apart from the fact that they are obviously very different in terms of the weight there's not a lot of difference in terms of looking at them as a first glance they both have a hybrid top cap as you can see they both have this battery venting across the top they both have a beveled edge down the bottom there um, and they both have nice smooth threads at the top um, the first difference though obviously is the clone has a laser etched or laser engraved rogue USA on whereas the authentic has a much larger and deeper uh, stamped, engraved, engraved, I suppose it would be, uh, Rogue USA. It is much larger than the clone, as you can see there. And then on the insides, it's actually incredibly similar. There is slightly more of a beveling on the inside of the authentic than on the clone. But the threads are about the same and they look very similar in terms of the quality of the threads. Then we move on to the button. So 
do you know what there's a very little to compare in some ways and and in other ways there is there is a bit um both of these operate on a spring basis both of them have this copper contact which is identical in both uh, devices the uh, authentic has a bevel on the edge there whereas the clone is quite a sharp edge and the clone has uh, the basically the the holes in the bottom are closer um, into the middle as opposed to the outside closer into the middle I don't know why I said that they are further from the edge than on the authentic um, and also on the clone they go all the way through whereas these are just um, skin deep so just down to the level of the beveling um, they both have a piece of Delrin or plastic or whatever it is on the inside to um, insulate your battery and then in terms of the rest of them the way that they come apart and go together is very very similar so you've got copper contact and a spring like so And then on the authentic, slightly firmer press. This is where the authentic does differ quite a lot. So essentially, the button assembly is very, or the actual switch itself is very similar. Obviously, this one's a bit cleaner. Um, this one could do with a bit of a polish, but very, very similar. The contact is exactly the same. It is identical. And the rest of the button housing is very, very similar. The Delrin or plastic sticks out a little bit more on the clone but then you have a spring. I would like to say that this is a silver plated spring, but I suspect probably not. And then we have our medical grade uh, polycarbonate or polyfiber, I don't know what it is, um, spring on the uh, authentic. So quite similar in some ways and quite different in others. But they all go back together nice and simply. It's nice and square at the bottom so you can just locate that in. Um, so you're not going to get your switch backing out on you. Let's just put that together. Nice and easily assembled. This one, however, is a little bit trickier because that spring is so big. I find this harder to put together than the clone. So much fir firmer press. I say press, I don't know why I say press. It's a firmer throw. A bit more clicky as well. But yeah, there's the two buttons reassembled. Let's pop. Give me a little bit more of a rattle in there, I suppose. But that might be just because of the wraps being a little bit better done on uh, the other battery. Obviously, you adjust up to your atomizer. Could do with the battery in there, Tim, can we? The threads on the authentic are beautifully smooth, though. Incredibly, incredibly smooth. I'd go as far to say as buttery smooth. So today I am putting the Rogue Force on the clone. Fine like a good one. And I've got the recoil on the authentic. A 
adjust up for your battery rattle. There we go. Let's go up to uh, FaceTime and, uh, and finish this off. So, clone versus authentic. Oh, that is droopy. Excuse me. So, <clears throat> price comparison first, I suppose. The um, clone comes in at something in the region of £30. Depending on where you purchase it from. And the authentic is new from about 150 um, in aluminium and a bit more for the copper. I think about 180 if you can get hold of one um, for a, a clean one. How do they stack up? So <clears throat> I really like both of them. I really like the authentic um, and I really like the clone. I would say I have tried a brass authentic and I love the weight of it. So I think probably in terms of the way that they, they're put together and the way that they're they're designed, you can really tell the difference between um, you know your your authentic money and your clone money. The button is surprisingly very nice on the clone. It's a very gentle throw. And you would be forgiven for being a little bit concerned about it firing, auto firing on your desk potentially. It's not that hair trigger, but it is almost there. The authentic, on the other hand, is incredibly shiny and beautiful. But actually, the the button press is really quite strong. So um, the throw on the switch is it, you really do need to to really push it, and it can end up sliding through your hands a little bit. So potentially a nice knurled, uh, a knurled aluminium rogue would be uh, a good, good purchase. So yeah, those are the two. Pretty sure that might not be the most helpful thing in the world. I'm incredibly glad that I bought the authentic, and it is absolutely I feel worth the money that that I paid for it. Um, would I buy the clone again? Probably would. Um, I think it's a well-made clone. It's a decent clone. Um, you can get some of the clones with magnets in, which I've had in the past, and they're very nice. Um, but I do like the um, polyfiber, polycarbonate, whatever the spring is made of in this. I do like it. Find that you can get a bit of a click out of this one, which is to some people's taste, not others. Whereas this one is much gentler. terms of how hard they hit um, and how how good a, a vape they are, much of a muchness. Um, copper is slightly more conductive than aluminium, but I think in the real world you're gonna be pushed to uh, to find a you know a difference between them. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we've got for today. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Do appreciate it, and um, hopefully that's been useful for you. And I will see you again for the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.